Hey everybody, welcome to another episode and today I'll review the Transformers BMP BS02 The Last Night Megatron. So, let us see. <laughs> So this is the knockoff of the knockoff Unique Toys Megatron. Hopefully that came out right because Unique Toys is a knockoff company and Backbumba copied them with, with different paint and different quality. Unique Toys have superior quality and are more expensive. Uh, unlike this, uh, this is cheaper but does not have the exact same quality. And uh, this keeps on popping off unlike the Unique Toys figure. And uh, Unique Toys are very expensive and companies like Black Mamba that copy other knockoffs um, which are cheaper, they're destroying these companies and I hope that uh, Black Mamba come up with their own design. Now we're going to look at the box he comes in. You've got beautiful artwork of Megatron. His legs are thinner for some reason. Oh yeah, his eyes light up. That's why they're red. Um, this looks very nice. You've got the name and Skybreaker. I don't know why is that for and deformation. For some reason they add that. It's a die cast metal transformation, and that's basically it for the box and the uh, what do you call them again? The accessories. Same as Unique Toys, but there's this face to change Megatron's face. Ah, you've got the shield and the sword. The gun is up here, the, that's for transformation, and that's basically it for the things he come with and, comes with and his box. And now we'll be transforming him into his robot mode and comparing him to the more superior unique toys figures. So let's start with transforming him.
And here we have him, the Black Mamba Megatron in his robot mode. It looks exactly the same. The, the, the head sculpt kind of looks better. Uh, but uh, let me just open this. This is silver. And you can change this. This part. Come on. Come on. Oh, yeah, and batteries. And his head, and his head pops out easy. Holy. Come on. Come on. Yes. Now it looks like that. Without any of the removable plates. And when I put this in, here you have his head. This looks amazing. It looks much better than the Unique Toys one. And his eyes light up red. Can you see? Yes, okay. Let me see. Yeah, his eyes light up red. Okay, and pop in the head. Oh, I forgot to push this forward. Yeah. This is off. Okay. Uh, you have a lot of gold accents. The back, it's different than the Unique Toys one. I'll show you how. And uh, you can, of course, put the shield on this tab in there. Nah. Oh, and this is on a ball joint. Convenient. Oh. Okay, you've got that. Uh, the gun, the same thing. And you put this part in there. My hand itches. Okay, in there. And the sword, of course, there's a tab in here. Ta and a place you can place it in the hand. Okay, boom, you got that. He looks amazing, but uh, now we're going to compare him with the Unique Toys figure. Okay, here we have the Unique Toys um, Megatron. Did that, he's here. And uh, he looks amazing. His health scalp is mwah, delicious. Uh, but uh, this guy's paint job is more accurate to the movie, but uh, his head feels a bit high, unlike the Unique Toys figure, because Oh boy, look at how long this is. And his head pops off easily. Um, this is honestly better quality. Has, I think, more die cast. Um, I don't like the uh, glossy color on him, but uh, the details look amazing. Uh, yeah, but this has a superior paint job. And, um, okay, you've got the sides. Kind of looks similar. Oh no, I put the shield. So right here, you got that. If you turn into the back, uh, this has a uh, more movie accurate paint. As you can see, this is red instead of uh, gray. If you come to this side, um, the shields they 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 don't look different. This has superior paint, like the paint quality is better. But um, but this is better. In quality, this has better paint and is cheaper and more affordable. So I choose this if I want something affordable. I choose this for quality. I hope Black Mamba make their own design someday because we want more diversity. Um, and Unique Toys, I hope they make cheaper figures, more affordable figures, because they make amazing ones and they need to stay in business. Um, I love them both. And now we've just reached the end of the episode. Hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to like and subscribe. And don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you know whenever I make the episode, an episode. I'll see you next time. Peace out and stay safe.